pull out all this stuff. What is that? I don't know what that was. Usually there's a bag. There's the neck. Oh. So Pretty much afternoon. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We are gonna go brave Costco, but it will be worth it to get these mashed potatoes. What? Yes. No, I'm just getting the seat right. Yeah. I'm married to a short person. I, you're, look how close you have the seat. Your knees are almost up to the thing. No, it's, it's more about the reclining part where my head fits. I can still see. We're gonna go drive by these two houses really quick because they're super close. We're gonna go drive by those so Shad can see them. And then um, we are gonna go to Costco and probably eat lunch there because I'm starving. Shad just opened the gate. So we went and looked at the first one. And of course I forgot to film again like I did yesterday. We're at the second one that I showed you guys yesterday and Kennedy and I just went and looked in the window. This one is definitely newer. Um, more updated. It has like a formal living room in the front and then um, like a family room with a fireplace back towards the kitchen. All right. Who wants to pick out the perfect Me. pumpkin pie? <laughs> All right, we'll see you Okay. Keaton, are you gonna try pumpkin pie? You are? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know it was such a ordeal to pick out pumpkin pie. I really hope we have their mashed potatoes though. Right. We got the perfect pie. It's pretty. Perfect pumpkin pie. <laughs> Please have the mashed potatoes. Oh, I think I just saw a guy pick some up. Okay, let's the last one. Go, Shad, go! He's on a mission. We're going on a mission. Start the countdown. <laughs> right? Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't go to the other Costco. Oh, no. Oh, no, you guys. Looks like we gotta make it. I think they're out, you guys. I don't think they have them anymore. Uh, they weren't gonna have any until Christmas. Mm -hmm. Oh. Very by location, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man. We're gonna, I don't know if they wanna brave the other Costco. We could just, just get these. See if they have them. I know, they, we could go there and then they'll be out. Right. So. They're going to get mozzarella sticks. I think it's like the hot item in Costco because they just don't last. <laughs> so they're racing over to get mozzarella sticks. Oh, what is that? That's garbage. That's garbage. Are they getting one? I don't know if they're gonna get one. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. You wanna see yourself? <gasps> Who's that? Oh. Who's that? Oh, I think they got one. It's amazing. They got one. Didn't even have to throw any elbows. Good. There was an Asian guy that stood right behind Kennedy and kind of like edged me out, and I was like, "Wanna well, go right now, old man?" <laughs> Not really. Gonna start a fight in Costco yeah, he was like, the day before Thanksgiving. He was like, edged himself in front of me, and I was like, "I didn't even notice him." Yeah, but Kennedy got me one. She was smart. She's smart. <laughs> um, I think Kennedy is getting a little bit big for this. <laughs> she used to do this all the time when she was little. She had to scrunch down so I could see over top of her head. <laughs> her ponytail is pretty high with her bow. <laughs> and now I can see Keaton. Peekaboo! Yes, peekaboo! Come here. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, you gotta feel it. It's so soft. I want this in my room. It's like you're laying on an animal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I'm laying on fluffy guy. Mm -hmm. It's 
Is it comfy? Is it soft? I think we found a winner. All right, you guys. Turkey time has commenced. Where's the turkey? Oh, it's under there. Oh my gosh, okay. We have our veggie tray, some Diet Coke. The turkey's under there. There it is. There's the turkey. I hope it's thawed. Oh, gross. I have a really hard time dealing with meat. <laughs> she does. So, in fact, I'm not even gonna eat this turkey. I might have a tiny slice just because that's what you do on Thanksgiving is you eat turkey, but we're gonna have to make room in this fridge for uh, to put the turkey back in. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so what we're doing is melting some butter. Just so you know. A whole stick of butter. And then this turkey and get out all the inside stuff. You know what, Kennedy, I'm gonna need that pan in here to put the turkey in there. Where do you put it? Um, about right here. Oh, this is so gross. I know. Oh, there's blood. Oh, gosh. I'm glad I am wearing gloves. Very glad. Okay. And we obviously don't want it to touch anywhere in the sink because then it'll just be dirty bacteria oh sickening oh gosh okay how do i do this <laughs> at least you didn't murder the turkey murder the turkey <laughs> Ew. Oh, gross okay oh so that's so nasty where's the Oh, inside. Okay, here's Ew, I... wow, all this stuff. What is that? I don't know what that was. Usually there's a bag. There's the neck. Oh, gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> oh, there's not a bag of stuff? Wait, is it in the butt? Hmm, that's where it usually is. Oh, wait, maybe that wasn't the butt. What's this? Yeah, this has to come out. Gross. Right? You're... You're touching a turkey's oh, butt. Oh, there's a bag. I see the bag. You're touching a turkey. <laughs> What's okay. in the bag? That's the liver and the gizzard and. Mm. Okay, that's the neck bone. That must stay in. Okay. <laughs> I hope that's all we take out. I hope that's all we take out. Okay. Make those parts of the turkey dry. What do you see? Do you see the turkey? We're gonna eat that tomorrow. That's kind of gross to think about. We're gonna eat that. And now you wonder why I don't eat meat. <laughs> and now you know why. <laughs> oh, I see it's ribs. Really? Yeah. Does a turkey have ribs? Yeah, I saw it. Hmm. I don't know if they can see it. <clears throat> oh, they sort of can. Okay, we do a whole stick of butter melted, then we get the fresh poultry herbs. So it has rosemary, sage, and thyme all mixed in. It's just cheaper if you buy it all together like this. You can buy them separately, but. And then we cut up onion, oranges, and lemon. And what we're going to do is we're gonna stuff all of that stuff inside the turkey right in now. In that little area. So we're gonna take all of these and go ew, ew, ew. stuff them in there and you know what you guys just depending on the size of your turkey you might need more onion or more oranges or whatever it just depends on whatever size turkey you have but just get it in there stuff it all in the lemon the oranges we don't do stuffing inside the turkey um i think that's disgusting me too but hey if you want to do it go right ahead um we, I prefer the box of stovetop stuffing, so that's what we use. <laughs> um, all right, so that's it. We're just gonna get those in there. 
Okay, you guys, so now we're going to put the butter on the turkey, and I'm gonna use this um, thing. Mm -hmm. Kennedy's gonna use her hands. It actually just works better if you use your hands. Then you get the butter in all the place, including under the skin. You really, really want the butter under the skin of the turkey, so we'll show you when we do that. But Ooh. let me start putting this on because it's super hot. And I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> Which you usually don't do. Mm -mm. But I thought it would be smart this year, so I'm doing it. Can I start really? Yes. Whoa! Ooh, I feel a bone. That's gross, like human. You seriously want to massage <laughs> the butter into like the this. turkey. You can lift up the skin right here, and it just easily separates. That's my hand under the skin. You want to get I want to do it. The butter. Ew. Under. Ew. That's so nasty. Oh, it really is gross. <laughs> Ooh, it like hardens right away. It just got cold. Anyway, so take that oh, butter and get it the under there. Get it under there really good. Ew! It's so flappy. So flappy. Get it under there some more. Get it under the skin. Oh, gross! No! Look at that. That's my hand. Oh, it's so flappy everywhere. <laughs> You're doing good. Just get it all. Like, are you getting under here? Like. Okay, and that's it, you guys. That's it. We're gonna cover it with foil, and then, depending on the size of your turkey, um, then you just cook it however long it says. But we cover it with foil, and then the last half hour, 45 minutes, you take the foil off, and it will be nice golden brown, like cooking to a nice golden brown on the top. And that's it. Are you licking that? Is that good pudding? <laughs> You're a mess. So Kennedy is making chocolate cream pie. Oh my yum. That looks really good. Is somebody eating their veggies? Oh my gosh, it's a miracle. Do we just need to give you chocolate first and then you'll eat your veggies? Is that the trick? Okay. Is that good? You like your peas and carrots? You are gonna need a bath in the worst way. Is it good? Mmm, -hmm. yummy. Do you want some chicken nuggets too? Okay. Hey you guys, I just got home from work and it is, my clock says 12.07. So I can officially tell you Happy Thanksgiving. Yay, it's Thanksgiving and you know, I feel like a lot of times I complain about stuff on here, especially our living situation, but we have so much to be thankful for. You know, I was telling Kennedy the other day how we take so many things for granted. Like, I have lived, I've owned a couple of houses before, and um, now I live in an apartment, and it has no windows, like hard, hardly any windows. So I've always taken windows for granted. I've had a house with great big beautiful windows and it's windows, everybody has windows. Now I feel like I live in a dungeon. So I complain about that, but then I'm like, there's somebody else that would be so thankful to live in this place. So I'm, you know, there's people out there tonight, it's 
pouring rain. It's been pouring rain all day here. It's gonna rain all night and they're sleeping outside. They don't have a bed. Um, they're cold and so I'm very, very thankful. Um, what are you guys thankful for? Let me know. What are you thankful for? Of course, I'm thankful for my family. Um, I'm really, really missing my parents and my brother and sister-in-law and my nieces and my nephew right now. I so wish we could be together. I haven't been with them for quite a few holidays lately, the last few years, and I miss it. I want Kennedy to be able to play with her cousins, and so I am having a hard time with that, <clears throat> with not being with them on Thanksgiving. Just not. It's a bummer. <laughs> um, but I'm still thankful. So, um, I knew I was going to run out of time today to do stuff, and partly I took a nap, so it's my own fault. But I have to make the rolls for tomorrow, and I'm going to make some monkey bread for breakfast. And um, I'm totally cheating again. You saw me buy gravy in a jar. You saw me buy pre-made potatoes, mashed potatoes. And now you're going to see me make frozen or frozen. I mean, they are frozen now. You're gonna see me make rolls that are frozen. Can you guys buy these? They're delicious. They're so good. They taste like homemade rolls. You guys, guess what? The video messed up at the very end. I had this cute little Thanksgiving message that I was saying to everybody, and it like cut off or something. I don't know what happened. It was so weird. I apologize. So this is the end of the vlog and um, Kennedy and I are sitting here watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade as I edit this, but I'm going to upload it right now and I just am hoping and praying that you all are having a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving together with your family and friends and there's so much to be thankful for and we're thankful for all of you, for all your love and support. Um, that's it. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Happy Thanksgiving!